Hey everyone, welcome back to the Altini YouTube channel. This is Mira Perez and I'm super excited to be back with a new video tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna be creating a scrapbook layout and I'm going to be working with the beautiful Build a Flower Trium Tulip set, the Fall Harvest Oval Ink set, which includes Sicilian Amber, Yellow Ochre, Pumpkin Pie, and Butternut. Next, we have the Sugar Plum set and the colors are Plum. Grape Agate, Amethyst, and Pale Mauve. And for the leaves, I'm going to use the Greenfields Mini Ink Cube set. I'm also going to be using some more products, but I'll make sure to mention them as we go along. If not, you can always check out the info box below for the full supply list. Alright, let's get started. When I'm creating a layout or any kind of project, what I tend to do first is to focus on gathering all of the elements and embellishments, or making some of them as well, that I will need for my project, and in this case, I started by building the flowers. Here, as you can see on the screen, I started by building the biggest tulip from the set. Since this is a layer stamp set and I'm doing several flowers at a time, I'm using my stamping platform which helps me get everything aligned perfectly. I have explained this process in some of my previous videos, so I'm not going to go into detail, but as usual, I started with the lighter inks first and then went towards or moved towards the darker ones and for this particular flower I used the Fall Harvest Oval Ink Set. Once I finished stamping all the layers, I created a quick mask from a post-it note and pulled out the beloved Daisy stamp set to incorporate its theme to my tulip. Next, I stamped some leaves and floral sprigs and cut them out using coordinating dies. Following this, I needed to create the vases for my flowers, so I grabbed the mod vases die set and cut out three of them from white cardstock. Since I wanted them to have a more realistic look, I took some inks and did some ink blending. To do this, I used my ink blending tool and my Altenew dye inks to apply ink. As you see here, I applied more pressure on the left side of the vase and then went lighter on the other side to create more dimension. Now to give even more depth and dimension, I'm using this brown ink and again I'm applying more pressure on the left side and fading out as I go to the right side. I repeated this process on the three bases and this is how they ended up looking. Now it is time to gather all the pieces and adhere everything together and create beautiful floral arrangements. To adhere the flowers to the bases, I used liquid glue and later added some foam adhesive on the back of the pieces to add some more dimension.
Okay, while I was trying to decide the placement of the vases, I felt like they needed something else. So I heat embossed some floral sprigs from the beautiful day stamp set on bone paper with the Ultimate Antique Gold Embossing Powder and used my heat tool to melt the powder. I wanted to keep the layout simple, but at the same time I wanted to add more texture, so what I did was to grab my embossing paste and the sketch line stencil and apply the embossing paste with a palette knife. It is really hard to photograph or show the texture that the paste adds to the page here in camera, but in real life it looks amazing, I promise. Okay, once the embossing paste was completely dry, I moved on to the last part of the process. This part is very self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but again, if you have any questions, you can always leave them below. So I think that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to visit my post over at the Ultra News Scrapbook blog to learn more about my project and to see more photos. Also be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ring that little bell so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!